All right, welcome back to our Deck Toys tutorial. My favorite part is the advanced settings. I mean, this is going to set your game apart from all the rest. So here we go. A couple of things that I really like to do is on a study set, I'm just going to double click. And right now, as soon as they go through, if they miss one, great, they can still move on. Let's make this a little bit more challenging for them and require more of a mastery based um, learning experience. So here under the advanced settings, when I'm in that study set, there is an option that says all answers must be correct to mark the activity complete. So if this little box is checked and we hit save, it means that the student, when they click on it, they must get all of these matches correct. If they don't, they'll still get earned points along the way, but they have to redo this activity in order to unlock the next activity. One more thing you might notice in the advanced settings is that challenges are allowed. What that means is once a student passes it off, they can challenge a friend or here is it a teammate um, that they can battle each other and see if you can get it done the fastest. So if you don't want the challenges, you can just uncheck that. Um, it's marked by default, so just uncheck it. All answers must be correct. Click Save. So there's one tip for you is getting students to uh, mark everything done so we have more of that mastery based um, learning going on. Second thing, let's add a lock. I love breakout EDU. I love breakout activities. Um, students love it too. So let's do that. So let's say before they can move on past this bridge, I'm going to add a lock. So I'm going to put that little arrow down. Let's set a lock. And it can be a text, numbers, a QR code. We have a key. Um, some other things would be like, it has to be a certain team that can go this way. And those can be set up when they when they enter. Uh, a voice, which only works again with Google Chrome. Browser, uh, some directions, again, like a breakout. Students love those. Um, can be maybe a certain number of activities they have to pass off to get past here. Um, I'm going to keep it simple and just do a uh, a phrase, be nice. I'm going to use the, sh the shift right above the enter button because these are not case sensitive. Um, but if there is like, you know, a space, there's no space, I'll make sure that students get it right. Um, if I want to put a hint, I can say go back to the beginning, read the directions carefully and click save. It's going to put a little um, lock right there. So what I did is I hid the secret message back in the beginning here under the start. I went back and added the magic phrase is be nice. So students have to remember that and hopefully they read my directions. Um, so they, when they get to this little lock, they know what the code is to get in. So when they click on it, um, it's not going to let them in until they use that word, be nice, with a space or no space. Um, the next thing is maybe like, ooh, before they can get to this, these hard choices, maybe I want them to uh, complete um, the easy path first. So I'm going to set this up that, um, here we go, I'm going to put a little lock on this one, set the lock, and say key, and let's say they need the gold key. Um, the other key is like silver, bronze, copper, whatever you want. Say, okay, they need the gold key. That works great. Let's hit save. So now it locks it. Um, if so, I was previewing this deck, you would notice that says start here. Great, I can do that. Hey, magic phrases would be nice. I can move my way across. But if I try and click this hard, so, oh, I haven't clicked any keys yet. Sorry. So, okay. Um, here we go. So now I'm going to move and say, let's say they finish this easy section. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to say set treasure key reward that they can have the gold key. I can put a little description in there. Um, oh, you just found the gold key. Right, and kind of make that fun for students. They go through, get the easy part done, they find the gold key, and now they can come over and complete the hard level. And maybe I want to come back and say, ooh, let's, let's erase this line and maybe make it um, a little something different. They can skip ahead or a different pathway um, to get over here. It would be kind of cool. Um, slides, all right, so that's the next part. So they, they can get a key. They earn it by passing off the easy path. Now they can go back and do the hard path. Um, awesome. And I've used uh, those different keys, so you know, like four different pathways. Um, you can set four different keys up so they pass it off and they, they can earn a key and then they can unlock a, uh, four different other little pathways, making it super exciting for the students as they go through. 
the other cool uh, advanced tip I'm going to give you is say, all right, let's say students, they pass this off. You can naturally build in a fast finisher. I'm going to come over here and click on this little sign and say, hey, congratulations. You just saved the day. Um, you know, I'll put in here, are you ready for ooh, level two? Um, click here to move on. And this is super fun. And so I can come over and say, click here. I can use our little link button. Um, and let's say, I'm going to cancel that first for a second. I'm going to go back to my dashboard. And maybe I have a, a classroom or something. One of my generic ones is like, all right, ooh, there's going to be, um, uh, here we go. I'm going to use this classroom specifically for uh, level two or the next thing. So there, I'm going to highlight that URL. I'm going to come back to my deck, say edit. I'm going to come back to my congratulations sign. Oh, I didn't hit the save button. That's too bad. Let's try it again. All right, so I'm going to say click here to move on. I'm going to highlight that, click here to move on. I'm going to use that little link button. I'm going to, that's the display. What is my URL? Let's get rid of that and paste it in my next URL and say insert. And let's make sure I save it this time. So now when I click on it, it says boom, it's highlighted. Students can now have, um, can take you to another deck and it'll have them ready for level two. Another way to gamify your curriculum and make it super exciting for, for students as you walk around the classroom and say, whoa, look at that, Johnny's on level two, who's on level two? And it really kind of builds that little bit of competition in for your students and that motivation to keep them going. Those are some of my great uh, advanced tips to make the deck toys and the learning fun for your students. Thanks for watching.